everyone, I am Oscar and I will be showing you how to mummify the pharaoh. In this case, Pharaoh Vincent the first. So, first what I want to do, I already have his body here, so I want a bowl of nice water that's have got some salt in it. Now I'm going to want to dip this cloth in, soak it up. Okay, now I'm going to wash it. Going to want to hook his brain out through his nostrils. Give me a second to get my hook. Okay. Ugh. Got his brain. Get rid of the brain. Okay. That hit nothing important, I hope. Okay, now I'm going to want to slice his body. Now, if I can, let's get his liver out. <coughs> Why do you need such a big liver? Okay, first off, let's get the jar. Um, can I pick a jar with the head of Imsethi? And let's stuff the liver in. Always hurts. And rope these in. Now I just need to shut that. Shut. Okay, the only organ we don't remove is the heart, because that will guide Pharaoh Vincent I into the afterlife. Okay, now let us remove the intestines. Got them here. Okay, now I'm going to want to put them in Keb the Kebsen Keb Center. I hate opening these. Can I get jars because they hurt if they whack you? Now I'm going to want to remove the lungs. I've oh, got these lungs. Okay, now let's put them in the canopic jar with the head of Happy on. Fun fact, all the heads of on the canopic jars are the sons of Horus. No! Put that in there. Okay. That's that. Then the final head is for Dormat. Yeah, Dormate. Which I need his stomach. Now, I need my myrrh, and I'm going to need some of my other spices in here. Okay, now I'm going to want to stuff his body for him. Also got my sword off. Okay, okay, now I need just to need to sew up his body. Okay, I've got extra string, I'll just leave that there. Okay, now. We must put him in a box of natural, natro, which is a special salt. Okay, this. Okay, so I have the salt. <laughs> Let's 
seasoning. <laughs> okay, that's enough salt. Now I'm gonna need to leave them in there for 70 days. Okay, it's been 70 days. Now he may come out. Okay. Now I'm going to want to put this, well, some of this resin over him to prevent him mold. To prevent mold, sorry. First off, just put that there. Oh, that was a bit much. That's all right, the more the merrier, right? Hey, you'll not have mold for longer. Nice and shiny as well. Okay, that's that done. Now, what we want to do. Is get the full size and the wick. As you come over here to get them. Go. So, false eyes. One. One. And two. And now, does need his wig. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, this is to make it more lifelike. Now, I'm going to need to wrap him in two or three layers. I need to wrap him in two or three layers of bandages. Let's go. Extend the table a bit. Handy Egyptian methods, extensions. Beautiful, doesn't he? Hmm. Okay. Now that I've finished the bandages, I just need to put a face mask on him like so. Now, we just need to move him to his sarcophagus. Okay, so, now that we've got him in his sarcophagus with all his treasures, just need to shut that. Okay. I need to bury the canopic jars with him, so, that, that sarcophagus is already in the sand, I just need to... Treasures we have buried with him are the Eye of Horus, his star, and um, scarab gem. A beetle, a scarab beetle made out of scarab, um, out of gems, not scarab beetles. What does the scarab represent? The scarab beetle represents the sun. Because it, the sun is a giant ball of dung that glows yellow that is being pushed by a giant scarab beetle in the sky and that is why he is in the sun we'll grab that and there you have it this is how to mum this is how to mummify and bury a pharaoh. What? What's the scratching? Um. <laughs> Hello, pharaoh. Why are you burying me? Wait, what? You're alive? 